Dear God, today I pray for France. From the coasts of Normandy to the vineyards of Burgundy, from the lights and life of Paris to the quiet villages of Alsace-Lorraine, from the majestic Alps and Pyrenees to the fields of sunflowers and the chateaus and the quiet rivers, I praise you, God, for the number of evangelical churches in France has tripled over the last 50 years. I praise you for the organization of the church through the National Council of French Evangelicals, bringing together all evangelical denominations and many church unions in France. I praise you and thank you, God, for John Calvin, Blaise Pascal, and other French leaders of the faith whose influence have gone beyond international borders and continue century after century. Yet France faces so many challenges, God. Our past is so shameful with bloody religious wars and brutal persecutions of Protestants throughout history. France has done everything possible to keep you, God, outside of its society. There are few churches in the towns and villages of France, most of which are without pastors. Most people have never held the Bible in their hands, and so few people follow Jesus. These very followers of Christ are often discouraged by their isolation. They're often the only believer in their workplace, in their school, or their family. They try to serve you and honor you in purity, righteousness, and discipline, but they also need grace. Please help Christ followers and friends to persevere in this hostile environment. And thank you for all the missionaries and their families from all over the world who have helped and who continue to support the church in France. I pray for the millions of Muslims in France, mostly from North Africa, whose integration has been made so difficult due to a flawed immigration system. Please help us to love our Muslim neighbors and to talk with them about Jesus. They are eager to know Him, and some have even come to follow Him as Lord and Savior. Today, I pray for friends. Hear my prayer, God, and please help me to do your work in this country. In the name of Jesus, Amen.